crazy, uh, pretty much. I got new glasses. That's that's a that's a given. Uh, <laughs> I had to get new glasses. I'll explain later. But I got new glasses. And okay, I'm gonna get it out of the way right now. I live in New York. A lot of people live in different states. I live in New York. Apparently, as of time of this shooting, 72 cases have popped up for coronavirus. I'm fine. My families are fine. I know other families out there are not fine. My prayers go to them. I just wanted to put it out there to you guys. My mindset has only been lately about the virus. That's why people have discussed about the TurboGrafx-16. I was already pre-ordered, ready to go. Hopefully I was going to get it. And it's going to be delayed because of the coronavirus. And I'm also going to point out to you guys, those of you guys who are so much of expecting the PS5 or other games that are coming out. Remember what's going on. The virus is affecting everybody. It started out in China where everything gets made and it's coming all over. So keep that in mind and don't get your expectations high when you get your when you want your games because let's face facts. We may not get them early. We may get them late. So I just want to put that out there right now. No more of the doom and gloom, let's get on with the video. Before I was going to go into my actual topic of our video today, we're going to go look into that in a few moments. I wanted to tell you about my pickups because I don't do that too often. I went to my nearest GameStop and I picked up a collector's edition. I want to show it to you guys real quick. It is Nemo Cooney. I got this at GameStop, it's Neon King for our PS4. It is 2,114 out of 25,000. They are numbered. Sealed box, and they had it on the shelf for $35. $35. I could not leave that on the shelf for $35, guys. So let's think about that. That's just ridiculous. Um. Also, I was talking to a friend who was going to a retro game store to sell their games. And while at the store, you know, because I was there hanging out, I saw the game that she had on the counter and I was like, are you kidding me? I said, how much are they going to give you that, give that game for you? And she's like, ah, about $33. And right now you guys are always saying, who gives a shit, dude? What are you talking about? So she was going to sell... Conqueror's Bad Fur Day. Now, Conquer, this is not a good copy of Conqueror's. It's definitely, definitely got some sticker damage here, which uh, we'll talk about that too in a minute. It's got some sticker damage here. I think this was like a rental card at one point. It has something called Fun Time, and they were selling it for 30 She was going to sell it to the rental place, uh, the, the rental game place, but, and they were going to give them $33 for it. And we both know, as bad condition as this looks, they were not going to sell it for dollars I said, listen, I'll give you 40 for it. And I'm going to tell you why. Because I'm not going to resell it. It's going to go in my collection. And I know it were, it's worth a lot more. Because it's pretty much worth close to 100 Why don't you just try selling it on eBay? Or try to get it. She's like, no, I just want the cash. I'll give you 40 for it right now. And after take it home. And she's like, okay, give it to me. Got a Conqueror's Bad Friday, 40 bucks. Now, my glasses. I got a new set of glasses. These are the uh, Amazon Echo Frames. And uh, pretty much, I'm not going to go into calling that Amazon name because. But the Echo is built into my glasses and it talks to my phone. It tells me my messages while I'm driving. It'll call people while I'm driving and I can listen to it. It's got speakers on the side over here and over here and um, I got my these are my prescription lenses on there cost me a lot for the prescription lenses to get done but nonetheless it's done so got my new frames it cost me $179 for the frames because um, I, I did the day one edition like I, I put it in there to request to have the one edition and yeah they I got, I got accepted so I did it 
All right, time for the topic. Now, this has been around for about a year, maybe two so far, I think. I gotta read, I gotta read, double check that. But it's been around for a while. I've covered this thing exclusively from Kickstarter to end. I did it all. Do I regret it? Not really. I don't regret it. I think it was a fantastic product for what it was. So, about a year and a half from now, I'm going to go back to the Dreamcade replay. This is not my copy. This is my, my, my mother's and my stepfather's. They bought one too when the Kickstarter came out as well because I convinced them to get one as well. And I'm sure a lot of you guys out there are like, oh my god, James, are you kidding me right now? You're about to pull this out? Listen, guys. It's been a while since this uh, has been out. And I'm sure the company who made this product, Dreamcade, which they, by the way, make fantastic arcade games, guys. Arcade consoles. Actual arcade arcades. Not one-up bullshits. Actual arcades. That's what they make. They came out with this console. And it's been a while. It's been a while. And the only thing I was disappointed at the beginning was just the software. But then again, it was too new. So they were developing it as, as they released it. So let's take a look at what the Dreamcade looks today. How's the gameplay? You know what I heard? It can play in 64 games. Really? Better than a Raspberry Pi? It can play Dreamcast, uh, GameCube games. What? Come on. Really? So, let's put it to the test. Now, normally, I would do a screen capture on my monitor and all that stuff. But behind us is my TV, my 42-inch TV that I use for my uh, gaming here. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put my camera that you have here. I'm going to flip it around. And I'm going to show you what it looks like directly on the screen. No cuts, no nothing. We're going to take a look at it. I have to pause it for a minute so I can get the, the game uh, Dreamcade set up. But I'm going to give it to my stepfather. It's almost done. He's going to be happy that I finally got it set up. And I think you guys are going to be surprised at what you're going to see. It's been a while for the Dreamcade. Let's give it another look. All right, guys. So we're back. So, a couple things I want to point out. I have to go in and out of the operating system for GameCube. There's no choice on that one. I couldn't get that one to play within the uh, arcade stuff that they have here. Maybe there's something I'm doing wrong. It's not, it may not be something with them. So, yeah, that could be a possibility. Now, there is the Atari 2600. It didn't play well for me for some reason. I don't know why. I put the game in, I play it, and it just stuck. So I'm not going to even bother. So Dreamcades, Dream Arcades are their versions of arcade games. They have a couple here that are licensed to them. So they also give it to you as well. I'm sure you guys remember. I have Game Boy Advance. Uh, I have NES games here. I have N64 games. Pico games I don't really have. That's more for, for them, as you can see. It's like... Dreamcade's version of games that they give you with it, and it all like free, it's freeware. So yeah, that's one. Again, this is more for Dream Arcades. They have their own stuff. PlayStation, they gave us a couple. I couldn't find a way to put the ROMs in here, and I just want to point out, my stepfather didn't get the one terabyte edition. That's not mine. I have the one terabyte edition, so I couldn't put all my all the games that I wanted to put in here. So yeah. Those are, the, those are the things. So let's get started. I'm not going to stop talking. So I have Sega, SNES, and NES. So the first thing I'm going to do, is I'm just going to cut to the chase. I'm going to go to N64. And a lot of you guys are going to ask. I like to play GoldenEye to test it. But I know you guys were like, why did you choose this one? So I'm going to choose Smash. So with the, all this front, this is a front end. So what it's going to do is it's going to contact... The, uh, the emulator within the front end because this is technically a mini PC and that's how it's going to play the game this is N64 guys it has sunscreen tearing so 
So I'm gonna hit start. Play a one player game. Uh, as you can hear the audio is definitely bad. It's slow it slows down. And I'm gonna hit start. Let's see how the gameplay goes. Oh, 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 oh. That's on me. As you can see, I mean, I have to get the controls set up right. They really don't work well. Yeah, my controls don't really work well. And as you can see, there is some glitches in the console. I mean... Get out of here. Oh. I'm being cheap. All right, game set. So, as you can see, it, it, I mean, is it perfect? No, not really. It's not perfect, but it's playable, which is amazing for what the game is. So it's playable. Let's go on to the next game. Yeah, I, it's still a computer. They're saying it'll fix some blurriness. It's still a PC, so I'm going to ignore it for now. All right. The next one we're going to play. Is. Let's do Ness. Uh, let's do Zen the Intergalactic Ninja. I'm gonna have to get the keyboard connected to this. Usually, I don't want like to do that while while streaming, but I don't want to stop it because I want to promise you guys it's a one complete uncut. There you go. All right, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. works really well uh, this obviously is an 8-bit system there is I'm gonna be honest with you with this emulator that they put on here there is some slowdown I can feel it but nonetheless definitely playable So, there we go. Here's here we go. Peter White on Amazon Music. Oh my god. Sorry about that. Alright, alright guys. So, I'm sorry about that. I had to stop. My Echo Dot was about to play some music. And I don't want no copyright stuff on here. Because she heard the wrong thing. Because she's annoying. She's going to fix the camera for a second. So, what's going on here? So, I had to exit the Dreamcade Arcade on here because I don't know how it's set up so I had to find the Dolphin app here and put the Dreamcade stuff on here I had no choice uh, to go through the, um, the C file and find the actual Dolphin emulator so once I did that I'm gonna open it up normally and I'm gonna show you so a lot of you guys are probably having games that your favorite what I grew up with is very limited with the GameCube, but what the one I used to have fun with with friends was uh, Mario Golf, and uh, I have one here. 
So let's go ahead and play and see how that looks. Nintendo! <laughs> So far, so good. Okay, that doesn't sound too good. And yes, I used to, I played with uh, Princess Peach. I like playing with her. Well, let's see. We're going to go onto the field now. I'm going to lower this a little bit. It's a little loud. Okay, so far, so good. And then you get that. It's it's a it, it is slow down cuz it's taxing. It's, it's still a microcomputer. So let's see how it plays. Let's see if can I Just like how I remembered it. All right. I mean, is it playable? Yeah, it's it's it is playable. I guess with fighting games and stuff, it's going to have a slowdown to it. Uh, but, overall, I mean, would I play it? Maybe. I used to play this game so much. Oh, I'm going to die. Okay. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Let's see how close I can get to it, guys. I want to that I really shanked that one. Oh yeah, that was good. Birdie. Either way, guys, it, it's is it is it doable? Yeah, I guess it is for, for what it is. You got no choice. Um but let's move on. Let's move on. So let's go over here. Get back out of here, and I'm gonna go to the Dreamcade Arcade. So I'm gonna close out the Dolphin app, because why keep it open if I don't need it? And I'm gonna open up the Dreamcade. So it's gonna take a moment for it to load because the as much ROMs you put on this thing, the slower it tends to get. Because if you didn't buy the one terabyte one and you put it on the mega hard drive, it gets a little loopy. Anyway. What's the next one? The next game we're going to play... We're going to go after SNES. And what can I put on here that you guys would remember? Uh, I have almost every SNES game on here. Yes. I know, I know what someone's going to say out there. How'd you do that? Don't ask. If you have to ask... You ain't do, you are not doing it right. All right, so Blackthorn. Okay. It plays really well. It's smooth. Um, I don't like... I mean, I know some people do. I don't like... Uh, the black borders around the edges. I'm sure we can play with that in the settings menu. But, yeah. Could it, could it be... Are you the only one? The chosen one? Chosen one for what? These poor bastards are screwed. Save yourself while there's still time. Let me help you. I got you guys. There you go. <laughs> oh. This poor bastard, man. Let's go take him out of his misery.
What is this? Oh, just gold? <laughs> Thanks, guys. Uh, I mean... Whoa. Okay. I guess I deserve that after killing... How many people? I must have killed a lot. And I can't climb up. Play a game that I don't even know how to play. <laughs> he shot me in the face. I deserve that, by the way. So funny, huh? I'll hear you laughing now, orc. Anyway, there you go for for that. So I'm back out again. Let's go to our final game. Let's go to Sega. How does Sega play? And let's go over to Sonic. Wow. I have... Uh, yes, also, to point out, I also have every, every Sega game released on the Dreamcade. Because why the hell not? I might put more games on this thing. I gotta talk to my stepdad. See if he wants to get the hard drive. I think Dreamcade may be selling them. I haven't been to their site uh, at time of shooting. But I will put their link at the bottom below. Let's just do one last game, guys. I'm trying to get to Sonic. I, I'd rather play Spider-House, but I can do Sonic. Here we go. Um, it it feels some slowdown. It sounds like it's what the Sega emulator they have on here now. I want to add one last thing to this to to the Dreamcade. They really made it more uh, user friendly. Uh, by that, what I mean is, if you don't like the emulators that are on here that they put here for you, they give you the opportunity to actually add emulators the ones that you want to be on here so you have the opportunity to put them on here yourself which on mine I did so because this one while I believe it's really nice is just not doing it for me at least Oh, of course. Anyway. There you go, guys. So, this one's a lot easier to uh, to come out of. I'm going to show you uh, the menu real quick. So, you go to settings here. As you can see, it says add emulation wizard. You can add your custom emulator, emulator to the system. This is recommended for advanced users, so if you don't know what you're doing, they don't recommend you touching it. You can do wireless if you want to do wireless. Uh, themes, they only have, they have, wow, I'm sorry, I, I'm wrong. They have several themes that you can choose from. When I first started, they didn't have any themes you can choose from. So they got several themes here that they that they put on here that you guys can have for yourself. Uh, game Wizards is just to use this to create your custom entry for the games, which is pretty cool. Compatibility. So, this is for the MAME and N64 stuff. You can turn them on and off to play with that. This is to add different controls. I don't want to do that because I don't want to mess up the controls since I already have this programmed. You know what? Screw it. Um, sure. I'm going to show you what it looks like. So, they make you just do a test. And then confirm it when you're done. And this is the controls that are... They're telling you, okay, what controls do you want? The 8-Bitto is here. Uh, also, 8-Bitto has their own joystick. That's called the NES 30 Arcade Stick. Uh, they use something similar to that to put it on here. There's the Replay's actual game, uh, game controller. I actually have this one from my Replay. So there you go. N64, NES, PlayStation, SNES... The dog bone uh, SNES like controller, the Super Famicom, Xbox, and then of course the regular ones that you see here. So that's how it looks like when you go ahead and program it. So I'm going to take this one just for an example. 
and they're going to ask you to program it. So, again, they tell you to confirm all the buttons that you use. It's not so bad. I mean, it's a little off, guys. Uh, if you if re replay is looking at it, uh, it's it is a little off for the um, buttons because they don't point the way it's supposed to point, and it gets a little confusing. So, there we go. Alright, so, I mean, not so bad. Let me go ahead and end this real quick. I'm going to tell you my final thoughts in a moment. I just want to show you how to shut down. They also did something really nice. Let me go back here. They have a cart app. Cart app, and I thought this was cool. I don't know if it really came out for um, your cell phone. I haven't done it, so I'm not going to say they did or didn't do it. But the only way you can have this is if you are registered. And you get that account by signing up for the Dreamcade because you have you know you have your own Dreamcade so you get that account you go to Dream Central or Replay Central and then you sign up and then you take a picture of the card that you own and it will automatically download to the replay that was one thing I thought that was fantastic when they had put that out okay let's um exit this Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that. It was fun. I, I I haven't played my replay in a long time. I'm gonna admit that, but doing like my stepfather's uh, replay and playing with that, I've come to a lot of conclusions that it was pretty cool. The replay itself at the beginning was hard to play. I'm gonna be honest with you, it really is. And I think that the owners over the replay, um they can admit that too it was but they didn't stop they didn't just go oh this is it we kickstarted it god bless good luck they continue to develop they develop and they develop and the games are actually working really well on there so they've come a long way from kickstarter to now to get a lot of games of it uh on there so would i give this a second shot definitely 100 percent, i would so, there's a couple of caveats that I have with the replay. One of them, it's, it is a little noisy, but that's because of the fan and it pushes on the heat. So, it does get a little noise in there, but it does have a lot of heat displacement. You know, playing those games, they're going to have the heat displacement. Um, the next few videos I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be working on a small game room in my house. My apartment, I should say. I don't have a house. And... Um, in that game room, I want to put a lot of modded consoles. Um, I've done the GameCube one, which you guys have seen behind me right here. That's the GameCube one. I'm going to put that the modded one in there. And, of course, I'm going to be working on an Xbox, the original Xbox. I'm hoping to get a lot of the parts soon for the original Xbox so we can mod it together. And I'll show you what that looks like. But the replay is going to have a good spot for my, my game room. I'm going to take it in there because it looks like it's it's, it's gotten to where I, I need it to be. The one thing um, that I want, and that's another future video that I'm working on too, is light gun. I mean, we have TVs that no longer can use light guns. I mean, the, red, the CRT TVs were able to do that with no problems. But with LED TVs or LCD TVs, you can't do that. But I have a couple of theories of what we can play with with the light gun. And I want you guys to, to, um, to join me. Either way, guys, thank you so much for watching the video, taking the time for watching it. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time in the vault. And if you do like this video, thumbs up, subscribe.